Well guys, I am royally surprised about something. Um, yes, we still have to uh, get the keys again, but... Like, the bats did not respawn. So I guess... Once you killed the bats, uh, they stay dead? Well, maybe. We'll need to remember these inverted stick controls. So I don't think it's not even possible to shoot these zombies from really far away. No. Yeah, because like I'm right on his head. Now I need to find where that path spawned again. It's not over there. <coughs> Probably if I went to the right area of the foyer, I could have found it. Yeah. You gotta find the room with the big table. Oh look, we're back in the foyer. Okay. Let's go down to the right. Yep, lots of undead. Did I kill that one by accident? What? Oh. Is that? Uh, I guess that was just a random townsperson hiding under the table. Okay, I guess you can shoot them from far away, but that one was kind of close. Okay, that was a cool shot. And 
And there's Mr. Key. All right for me. Like a zombie was about to spawn there. What's okay? Where does this lead to? Okay, we'll just go back to the path we came from. Unless this goes there. Nope, because the game has to be mean. Oh yeah, yeah. Last time that town person just kind of ran over the edge and pretty much died. I only know what that was about. Wow, it's nice to know Conquer is faster than the zombies. Your bad arm is really good at dodging. Okay, so there's chocolate up there. We definitely want to be heading that direction. Zombies respawn? No. I think I think we're gonna be following that route again, so yeah, here it is. I think we also need a way down. I think we have to like hit a switch or something. I'll be pleasant. At least they give you health refill. Which isn't in a dangerous position. Yeah, of course, there has to be a zombie there. Oh, oh yeah, you know what? We actually have to find that place. Well, it looks like it's in the library, so. Let's just head on over. 
not gonna risk taking fall damage anymore. I'd like to shoot the zombies from here, though. Not a great position. that lead to? Yeah, that like, uh, that, like goes to the port, other hallway. Okay, uh, new plan. Let's go to these stairs. Now we're okay. Now we're kind of closer. But yeah, that's a good position to lead them in. Now, where was that entrance? Well, that might have been in the dining room, actually. <coughs> Guess we should just run back there. Back there again. That is stupid. Here it is. Okay. We 
Okay, that's nice. It's actually close to where we need to go. Yeah. Let me find the zombies could just follow you through the door. If they did, uh, they just fall into the pit. That'd be nice. Immediately run for it. We got a ride on him again. I guess he, the barrel dude, just sort of got captured by Batula and put in here for the decor. It's gonna save the game. Hopefully, during leaving does that. So yeah, we're on to do that section again, and we get the ride, the stride again. Yeah, we can actually just the kind of. Freestyle around here. It looks like the uh, zombies are the zombies are gone now. That's nice. So the hard part's done. Oh, we missed one. Whoopsie. Thankfully, they don't make you do it all again. The game over text kind of looks like the uh, same text from Banjo. all the way with this barrel. You might be wondering that. I think the names on the gravestones are rare are rare developers, kinda like um like Banjo 2, where you can read the developer names on the lockers and there's Davy Jones locker. Uh, I guess the catfish spirits will let the swim freely. Greg is gone. So you need to write him up here, and then he dies. Well, look, after all this, we finally get that money. Take a look, it's the gargoyle. Yep, we're at the beginning of the game. That's how you get that money. By going through all that. That's a fun little twist. So, yeah, they pretty much make you come back through level zero. You have a good reason for it means we're getting close to the end. So, take a look at our old memories. A 
let's visit Mr. Key again. Yeah, we rescued his brethren from the castle or the mansion. Whoopsie. Well, guess we get to come back here again. Whee! As we return to the hub world, we'll get our next world cutscene. King Bee's love triangle, August dies Boulder. It's nice. Awfully random. Well, we're gonna find out what that meant. Hey, her husband's having a love triangle. I guess those caveman that the caveman race is called Uggas. Makes sense because, like, the giant was Jugga, the boss was Bugga, and uh, stuff like that. So, take a look! This world is finally open! We don't have our gun anymore, but, well, we still have it, we just can't use it here, but now that we have a gun, we can actually go in here. Get ready for war.